Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys. Yes, yes, first of all if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring if you want to contribute to the channel. You can always contribute via the link description, via PayPal or catch me on a live stream. Make sure you press the notification for you to know that to send your super chat. But guys, forget all of that because it is Arsenal 3, Manchester United 1. Manchester United losing to Arsenal. Ah, the top four hopes are done, dusted, sayonara, before it was done. But now it's really, really, really done. I am done. At 12.30 lunchtime and Manchester United are known to not have a good performance for lunchtime. We wake up this morning... We, uh, we brush our teeth, we kiss our woman, our partner, whoever, our guy, whoever it is, good morning, make some nice breakfast, or probably an English breakfast, have some nice tea, sit down lunchtime, get our ass ready, probably drop and cancel a lot of plans. And then guess what? We get to witness this trash, this bullshit from these Manchester United players so early in the first couple of minutes so damn early Manchester United poor first 45 minutes second off could have done way better you could have came back you could have came back Manchester United could have come back but no the captain of the day decides to fuck up what is wrong with this captaincy is it curse if it's the Manchester United captain allowed to make mistakes and say oh well it is what it is McGuire's been doing it for a whole couple of seasons, you know, the whole entire season, you know, a lot of games. It's my time to shine. It's my time to make mistakes. It's my time to just make sure that we don't get the three points. And yes, guys, Manchester United did not get the three points. They let us down. The first 45 minutes, let's go straight into that game because that, that first goal from Tavares, from Arsenal, making it 1-0. That slip up from Tellers. Poor performance by Tellers today. He was shit. You've come back. You've had rest. David here tried his best to save it, but unfortunately, with that deflection, sorry, with that save, Tavares capitalising on it, making it 1-0 for Arsenal. 2-0 again. Before that, then the KTR scored, making it 2-0. But again, it went for offside. VR decision right there. 2-0 for, made it, uh, sorry, the VR decision made it, made it a penalty because, of course, Tavares, I mean, Niketia was offside. Unfortunately, but for Saka, there was a foul as well. Tellers making that mistake. Poor, 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 poor. Saka making it 2 0 with a penalty. Minutes after, Ronaldo saving it, getting his 100th goal in the Premier League, making it 2 1. Tellers with a wonderful cross, whipping a whipping excursion cross, I will have to say. 2 Ronaldo to 4 Ronaldo to finish it. Half time, it was 2 1. We thought to ourselves, we might concede. Early, I know our team. In the second half, we can see goals. It might be 3-1. But guess what? That changed. No, we got a penalty to make it 2-2. Up comes the man, Bruno Fernandes, who has been playing poor for the last couple of games, making the wrong decisions. Yes, steps up to where you think Ronaldo should be taking this one. And, and this penalty that he takes, Bruno, he goes and hits the post. He hits the post. He lets us down. You know, he took too many steps. I don't know what's going on with Bruno Fernandes, but he took too many steps. Hitting that post, and it was 2-1, still for Arsenal. And then the Pussio himself gives that ball away to give Granit Xhaka a long-range strike opportunity to make it three goals to one. Manchester United by then were done. The hopes are done. It was full-time, 3-1 for Arsenal, and we look like shit. We are done. You have ruined the weekend of us. And it's just 12.30 kickoff. This 12.30 kickoff for Manchester United curse. We haven't done well. We have never done anything well. And I always said before, if you play Arsenal, lunchtime, the sun is out, the sun was out. They're going to play that tropical football and get that win. We've never done any well against Arsenal. On a sunny day, lunchtime kickoff. Even on a Sunday, 4.30 kickoff. We lose. We are cursed. Top four is done, Manchester United Holics. You know, in terms of players, everyone played shit. No one turned up. Man of the match today, in my opinion, is you. But if it was a player, Sancho was the only positive performance I can say. 
donkey of the batch, the captain himself, Bruno Fernandes. He was shit. To tell us as well was shit. He's also deserving. But it is what it is. But guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice. I want to know exactly who was your man in the match. Who was your donkey of the match? What's your thoughts on the game? How are you feeling right now? And your and your thoughts again for the for the Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. As Tyson Fury is a Man United fan, he must be pissed and fuming. He's getting that curse. Don't get that curse, big man. You don't want to get an, an upset too. But it is what it is, guys. As always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to tune in for the live watch along for the Man City game and Real Madrid on Tuesday. Till next time, guys. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Peace out. I'm out. Sayonara.